So, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yes, so I am back. It is your girl, Tora Janae, and I am here with a 21 questions video. So I asked my people over on Instagram to send me in some questions that I should answer on YouTube. So we have our questions. We about to mosey on over to the couch. Got our chips and our dip. Colder. We call it colder down here. Mm. 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 This that RC Cola. See, you don't know nothing about it. You probably don't know nothing about RC Cola, but that's that's the truth. Um. So yeah, girl, come on. We're going to the couch. We're going to the couch. Going to answer these questions. Y'all coming? Y'all coming? Come on, come on. Now y'all know we gotta take care of some housekeeping stuff, okay? So please be sure to click that bell notification so that you can be notified every Saturday morning that I come up here and drop a video for you because we doing it all 2021. Did you hear me? We doing it all 2021, girl. So I want to see you in the room. I want to see you in the comments. I want you to show up and show out. Oh yeah. It's got a clubhouse seat too. Oh. I'm in clubhouse. The collegiate coach. Yep. Follow me there too. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> All right. So girl, <laughs> let's see about these questions. We have 21 questions to answer in this video. So you can get to know more about Tori Janae, right? Because that's what we're doing in 2021. We answering 21 questions. So question number one, favorite food. If you know me, like if you know me, then you know that my favorite food is mac and cheese. I eat it. I love mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A. I love homemade mac and cheese. I eat the mac and cheese at Bojangles. I eat the mac and cheese at KFC. I used to eat the mac and cheese at Golden Corral, but don't nobody be going to Golden Corral no more. I love mac and cheese. If you mess up the mac and cheese, then psh, we can't be friends. <laughs> Next question, our favorite thing to do. Let me see. I like to do a lot of different things, but I think um, my favorite, favorite thing to do is probably hang out with friends and just cut up. So hang out with family and friends and just cut up. I love to go to a good cookout, get some cookout food, you know what I'm saying? And just cut up with good people. So I think, I think it's a vibe for me. That's my favorite thing to do, to vibe with people, okay? Next question. I got them on my iPad. So if you see me looking over here, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at my iPad. Um, so favorite outfit. Child, I don't really like, I don't really like them, you know, dress up and everything. So my favorite outfit, I have these um black pants. I have them in black and I have them in gray. And I got them from Academy Sports. I can't tell you the material, but I like to wear those and I love a good graphic tee and a pair of sneakers. That is me. If I could wear that every day, if I could wear it to work with a different graphic tee, I have on a graphic tee right now, but if I could wear a graphic tee and those comfortable pants to work every day, I definitely would with a pair of sneakers. That's me on um, period. All right, so the next question is favorite restaurant. So if I would have to say, one of my favorite, favorite restaurants, especially for like brunch on a Saturday, is a local eatery right here in my town and it's called The Scullery. Their pancakes, the eggs, I don't really care for cheese on my eggs, but I eat it sometimes, but they put cheese on the eggs. And so the scullery would have to be my favorite, like, different kind of restaurant. Um, if I had to pick, like, 
uh, fast food place. You know, I'm gonna go with that Chick-fil-A all day, every day. I can eat them twice a day. And I do sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely do. So, we have a little serious question coming up. And the question is, how did you start YouTube? So, it's been some years. It's been a couple of years. Haven't really been serious or consistent with it, but it's been some years. I remember having a conversation one Sunday while I was actually serving in children's church at church. And I had told a couple of people, I was like, you know what, I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. I'm on YouTube all the time, watching YouTube videos and looking at other people, you know, talk, I can do that. <laughs> so, you know, they really gave me the encouragement. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to my servant crew. They really gave me the encouragement, you know, to go out there and just try it and upload a video and see what happens. So that's what I did. That's how I started YouTube. I got the encouragement from church. So shout out to the home team. Next, current reads. So I have my current reads right here. Boom. So I am reading Building a Brand Story, and this book is absolutely phenomenal. You can tell that I love it because I have my, my, my note page here. I have sticky notes. I've highlighted all throughout the book. Like, I am a person that writes in books. Like, if y'all read, if you're a reader, let me know if you write in books. I will mark up a book. <laughs> Won't I? So this book has been definitely changed um, life changing for my business um, and then I've also got some personal nuggets from this book as well so if you're a business owner or if you're looking to start a business I definitely recommend it as a good read my next read currently is this one right here so the power of when so I'm enjoying reading these books both um, this one I typically read in the mornings and this one I read at night before I go to bed and this is just talking about you know your body has its own chronotype and its own circadian rhythm and you should do things within the rhythm of your body and that's how you increase the productivity like what it's a good read definitely go check it out so that's currently what i am reading i do have a devotional over on my desk and because january 1st i started the devotional today so yeah that's that that's what i'm reading so next question instagram or twitter I have them both and I'm probably on Instagram a whole lot more than I'm on Twitter. So I would have to vote. I'm, I'm team Instagram. I'm team Instagram. It's Insta. It's Insta for me. Um, so 2020 memory. Hmm. A 2020 memory. Let me think. Let me think, y'all. I have one, but I'm trying to think if I have two. 2020 memories. Okay, so I have one of them is in July of 2020. I actually made it official and I received my LLC paperwork for my business. And in August, the business actually launched. So that's a great memory of 2020. December 31st, 2020. That's when we said bye-bye. Okay, see you later. Don't come back around here. All right, so the next question. TikTok or Snapchat? I mean, is that even a valid question? Like, TikTok all day, every day. I can say that I used to be a Snapchat girl. Like, I was definitely on Snapchat all the time. Like, Snapchat used to get the real, real. But since I found TikTok, it's like, um, Snapchat who? Snapchat where? 
Oh yeah, I was supposed to post something on Snapchat. So yes, TikTok for 100, please. Run that over here. Favorite TikToker. My favorite TikToker is Miss Frost. So she's an educator in California. So I like her videos. Favorite YouTuber. Favorite YouTuber is Miss PTV90. And she actually is right here in my state. Um, shout out to you, girl. But I definitely love her videos. She's one of the first YouTubers that I actually started to watch. And I think she's like one of the first ones that I subscribe to their YouTube channel. So Miss check her out follow her subscribe do all that good stuff um she's the bomb.com definitely love her videos and her content's amazing um so best memory with best friend gosh there's so many there's so many oh my gosh there's so many okay so this memory is definitely it's a little bittersweet but i have several really close really close friends and in 2019 my grandmother passed away and the best memory was all of us being able to be together and them coming to support me in one of the hardest moments of my life and being able to, to look around and my circle, my circle being there. And I, I'll, I'll always remember, remember that memory of us being there together for that moment. And when I say that came from all the way, Sis came from Boston, sis came from South Carolina, sis came from the western part of the state. You know what I'm saying? Just to have your friends show up for you for such a, a pivotal moment in your life. And, you know, everybody know that I was from my baby. So, you know, just being able to, to share that moment with them. And, you know, it was special. So, that is my, my best memory with my friends my best friends because at a moment when you need people they were there which which kind of leads me to I, I saw a question up here about words of wisdom or advice and that would be you can't do life alone you need some people in your life you need you need some people in your life because there's gonna come a time when you you can't do it by yourself and you're gonna, you're gonna need some help so get you some people in your circle that can help you and you can help them so, yes. so this next question says a time when you were afraid child it's been a whole lot of times I get afraid of dogs, cats, lizards, worms. A time when I was afraid. Child, I probably get afraid every day. Let, let me see. Let me see. But a good one. So, cooking. I enjoy cooking, right? So, a couple of years ago, I decided, oh, let me make some ribs, right? So, I put the ribs in the, in the stove and wrapped them in aluminum foil and somehow or another the 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 juice or the grease that was started coming through the aluminum foil and it was draining onto the stove so it caused the stove to start smoking Child, i thought i was going to burn my apartment complex down when i tell you i was scared i was in my the whole apartment started smoking up when i went to take the ribs out the stove i, I spilled like the grease it was just a bad situation it was a bad situation so i put them back in there and put the lemon foil put the ribs in a pan and like open the aluminum foil up a little bit. Well, part of the aluminum foil was touching the inner coils of the top of the stove. Y'all, the aluminum foil caught fire. Now, I didn't think aluminum foil could catch fire. 
child. If I can find the video, I'll insert it. If not, it was a bad situation. But, um, so I opened the stove and there's a blaze in the oven. I'm telling you, I thought I was gonna hit the call down when, like, I was on the floor in my apartment because the whole thing was so smoked up and I was, yeah, it was it was a bad situation. I was scared because I knew I ain't had no money in my bank account to to pay for all them buildings that was about to be caught up in flames. I ain't, I ain't had it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So I try to be more careful with my cooking now. You know, we getting better. We getting better. But yes, that was definitely a time I was legit afraid, and I was home by myself too. Mm. If, like I said, if I can find that video, I'm um, I'm gonna put it up here so y'all can see it. Hey, girl. Next, <laughs> a dumb best friend story. Okay, so I used to have a habit of when I would get home and I would go to unlock my apartment door, a lot of times my key would break off in the door. The key broke off in the door. We had to go to the patio door to try to get in because my um, best friend was also my roommate for a period of time. So we was going through the patio door to get in. And I was like, well, girl, I could just jump over, jump over the balcony or whatever. <sighs> Why did I decide to do that? Because when I jumped over, I fell and I fell into the bushes. That was pretty dumb of us to think that I could jump over the, the patio and she co-signing on it. Yeah, that's a good idea, girl. Dumb and dumb. Next, life view. I think it's kind of what, what this shirt right here says that I have on. Y'all can't really see it, but can't see it. <laughs> it says living my best life. So I think for me, it's really about in 2021, living my best life and applying pressure. That's, that's, that's what I'm doing. 2021, I want to be the best person that I can be. I want to be the best business owner that I can be. I want to be the best friend that I can be. I want to be the best daughter. You know, I just want to live life to the fullest and I want to experience new things. And because I want to do all of that, I understand that I have to apply pressure. So yeah. All right, so the next question is polish color. Chad, so right now I'm rocking this white and glitter polish i just got my nails done on wednesday um 2021 goals so what's a goal that i can share because you know all goals you don't tell everybody you don't tell everybody all the goals so what's a goal hmm, for 2021 hmm, a goal that i i'll tell you i need to get my blood pressure back in a good a good place um in 2018 it was in an excellent place in 2019 it was in a good place but baby <laughs> my, my, my. 2020 since we've been eating all these snacks damn. It ain't all that hot. So that is a goal for 2021. We getting it back in that great place that it was in so we can come up off these blood pressure medicine. And ain't nobody got time to keep paying for that. Mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. That's, that's the goal. We, we coming up off that blood pressure medicine. Favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Favorite movie. I am a movie person. I like movies. So, a flashback favorite movie would have to be Hear No Evil, See No Evil. No, 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 no,
flashback back in the day. If you haven't seen the movie, you need to go see it. But Bustin' Loose with Richard Pryor. That movie is a classic and it's my favorite movie. I love that movie. Next favorite movie would have to be Lean On Me. And then my third favorite movie would have to be Brown Sugar. Yep, so Bustin' Loose, Lean On Me, and Brown Sugar. But if you haven't seen that other one about Hear No Evil, Hear No Evil, See No Evil, that has Rich Pryor in it too. And I forgot the, um, the other man that's in it. And One's Blind, One's Deaf. Whole comedy show, whole comedy show. Uh, favorite song. Favorite song, like what is that? Um, y'all, I'm, I'm struggling. I can't think of a favorite song right now. I, <laughs> the only song that keep coming to mind is "Have a Little Talk with Jesus." Tell him all about your troubles. I don't know why that song coming to mind, but that's, I, I don't know. I don't know, favorite song, I don't know. Y'all tell me your favorite song in the comments. Next, Eat In or Dine Out. We talking about COVID or pre-COVID? Because COVID, we're going to eat the house. Pre-COVID? I was probably a dine out girl. It's probably about 50 50. Um, I like to dine out because you get to go out with friends. But I like to cook at home because you know what you put in your stuff and you know you washing your hands and you know your pots and pans clean. And you can go back for seconds. But now that we in COVID, I'll eat her to the house. Mm hmm. And last question. Drum roll, please. Can we get more videos? And the answer is yes. I'm working on it. I am working on a content calendar and I'm working on a consistent post schedule that's gonna work with my schedule of everything else that I have going on. Okay, because we're in 21 and I want to give you all of me, loves all of you from your curves and all your edges, or whatever he said in that song. But yes, I want to give you all of me, honey, in 2021. So yes, more videos will be coming down the pipe. You can look for more videos every did you hear it? Saturday morning. Saturday morning, the video will drop. Um, follow my social media accounts. You can follow me on Instagram at Torjanae TV. You can follow me on TikTok at Torjanae. You can follow me on Twitter at Tori ECU. And of course, all of this information will be in the description box below. All right, we doing it all 2021. Yes, because we are what? Living our best life, okay? Thank you so much for joining. Be sure that you take care of all those housekeeping items that I said. Click that bell notification. Follow me on all social media accounts.